Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day nine of Plan Myths. I'm having so much fun and I hope you are too. This has really been fun to just like hang out every single day, come up with lots of content ideas, so thank you. I'm gonna be giving my review and opinion after using the Plum Paper subscription stickers for a year. If you have been watching my content, then you know that every month when we set up, each month we're using those stickers. Sometimes we'll do a weekly spread with them as well, but I wanna give all of the feedback after using them for a year from January to December and also just give you an overview of what the sticker subscription is and like when it shipped all the questions you may have around plum paper subscription stickers and if you have any others I'm happy to answer them in the comments below don't mind me I am having a little protein shake while we hang out today I just needed a little bit of fuel I was feeling like lightheaded I was like okay I need I need something so Cheers. Okay, so I wanted to give you just an idea of the Plum Paper stickers, like an overview, and then we'll go into what they say it is, and then my honest opinion. Okay, so I have the listing pulled up here on my iPad, and I'll put it over here so we can look together. So the Plum Subscription Sticker Kits, which is a mouthful, and I don't know how many times I can say it, they offer them month to month, which is $10 a month for five sticker sheets, or you can pay for a full year and you get three months free, and so the payment total comes out to $90 instead of $120 for the whole year. Now, you are getting five sticker sheets every month. They, I don't know how to describe this paper quality, or the paper texture, it's not quality, but they are um, silky, like vinyl-y feeling, so you can't write on them with just any pen. So you have to have specific pins to write on these, which we can go over. I didn't think about including that. Let me pull up the pen that I use. There's only one that I found that works, so we'll talk about that too. Um, so the sticker paper is definitely not paper paper. It's like a vinyl soft touch feel, and so regular pins will smear. But I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I tend to do this. So let's first look at what they describe everything as, and then we'll continue. <laughs> okay, so the product details. It's five sticker sheets shipped to you every month with free shipping. Sticker kits are, this one is designed to fit the seven by nine planner. The sticker kits change each month to match and reflect holidays and events. You can choose between monthly or the annual reoccurring subscription. If you choose the annual, you get three months free and it ships between the second and third week of um, each month for the next month. And then it says for more information, you can review our support page. So one thing I will mention right off the bat is it doesn't matter what planner size you have with Plum, you can get this sticker kit. They have it available in the A5, the 7x9, and the 8.5x11, which is awesome. I love that so much. They've been doing the sticker kits I think since like 2017, I did an evolution of uh, Plum Paper a few months ago, and I believe they've been doing this for years. I'm pretty sure I saw like the first sticker kits coming out in 2017, but my memory could be off, but it's been a while. It's been at least four or five years. They haven't changed terribly much. Um, because I know that just because I, when I was doing my content for the evolution of, I was scouring and digging on their Instagram and the, uh, the concept of these kits has not really changed. However, I did get a notification and filled out a survey when they had sent it out to all the customers um, in regards to like what changes that people would want to see with the sticker kits. And I really love that because I do think some things need to change, but I don't necessarily know what. I just feel like they need like a revamp um, and I'm glad they asked for feedback. So maybe that's coming, which would be very, very exciting. So that is their product description of the product well, duh, product description of the product. I have a funny story about kind of why I got this sticker kit. Um, last year, I purchased this November 27th. I only know that because I just saw my order details. And this was my Christmas present to myself. I don't know if you're like me, but I love to get myself something for Christmas that is going to like continue into the next year. So usually it is subscription based, whether I buy myself my workout subscription so that I have the ease of doing that when I want to and when I have time or if it's something like this where it's stickers I've also done like the FabFitFun box and stuff like that so I love little monthly surprises this was a really fun thing to do for myself and you pay up front and so I paid the $90 in November and this whole year I've been getting stickers and it just felt really really worth the spend because of how many stickers you get the quality of the stickers and everything in between. Like it was probably my favorite thing I've done 
for myself is just treat myself with stickers that I get monthly. Okay, so that's kind of an overview. Like they said in their description, these ship the second or third week of the month prior. If you're getting your December stickers, like these ones are, then they came in like the third week of November. And I have to say, I have loved, loved, loved this sticker subscription. So I wanna go over the different sheets that I have here in front of me, and then we'll kind of get into some of the ways I use them, show you some of my spreads, and just give you some inspiration. But I wanna explain what the sheets are and some things on the sheets that I didn't know what they were when I got them. And maybe you wouldn't either, so I wanna help you. But we'll just look at these in order. So this is what we're gonna call sheet number one. It has to-dos, it has headers, basically kind of labels, and it has some things that are catered to Christmas and Hanukkah, the holidays. So you have a gift ideas tag, you've got lots of headers, food, dining, just little things that you can put in either your monthly spread or your weekly. All of these stickers fit your monthly box, which I love. So if you wanna go bananas and put all five of these sheets in your monthly, you, well, that would be hard, but it's possible. Basically, all of these stickers really do fit the monthly and the weekly, which I appreciate because sometimes you want to just do one, you want to do both, or just one or the other, so I love that. So this is um, the first page. This is what we'll call the second page, and this is for your reflection page. Now, the reflection page is included in all of the plum planners, as far as I know, and it has the three boxes. It's on the back side when you open the month and these boxes will just go over those. You've got some colorful headers that you can add. And then some of these I actually end up using in my monthly kit, not necessarily on the reflection page. I've done lots of different stuff on the reflection page, still figuring that one out. Um, but I love this section right here. And then I usually will throw those in somewhere as well. Now, this page in particular, I'll just let you know now, I use the Sharpie felt tip pen and this is the only thing I have found so far that will write on the reflection page. It's like the, this one, the circle page. It's a different texture than every other page in your planner and it smears so, so easy. I still sometimes make mistakes with this one and have smearing. Now, I've got 1,200 pins on my desk that I'm about to do a pen review to find new pins for my plum paper. I think that video comes out actually before this one, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't filmed that one yet. So I will discover the correct pins. I will. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. But right now, this one works pretty good. It's the Sharpie pen, and I use it on these stickers and then also on the reflection page. Now one thing I want to point out is this right here, this wheel. When I first got this kit, I actually didn't know what to do with it. I was a little confused as to what it was, and I had posted in one of like the Plum Paper Facebook groups like, hey, what the heck is this? And someone was like, oh, it's a reflection. It's a habit tracker wheel for the month. And so it really goes, I think, sideways like this, and you can like mark in when you're doing whatever the habit is that you put right there. Um, this sticker doesn't get used for me. I put it in there some months, some months I don't, but I track everything, all of my habits weekly, and it feels really redundant to go in and try and track it here too. So I usually don't use this or like it doesn't even make it into the spread. Um, but I do think it's a good idea. So if you have a daily planner and you're wanting to track your habits, this is a great sticker for that. And then they always change this. This month they did an ornament. It's so cute, I love this. This sticker sheet has really helped me define the reflection page. I really, really love that one. The third sheet that we're looking at is I think a little more obvious. These stickers are for your monthly spread. You've got your headers up here. You have these um, calendar boxes that fit perfectly within the little calendar rectangle square thing. And it does cover up the date, but that's okay because you have these little date corner dots right there and your weeklies. Now, I don't always put in my weeklies or the date dot because they design all of their kits to color coordinate with the monthly color. And so the um, monthly color matches. So like sometimes I just don't use these because I feel like, well, it already looks fine. This one definitely gets used. I say that because we're getting into stickers that I don't always use and I have a binder of all of my extras, like half-used stickers from the Plum Paper subscription. 
they gave you so many stickers. I use other kits and stuff, so I don't use all of these. Now, if you were just looking for five sticker sheets that you don't have to purchase anything else and you just wanna use these because they match your planner, this is a great option, like for real. This, it always will match. It's always gonna be cohesive. And I mean, they have everything. So we'll get into that more, but I don't always use all of them. So this is what will be sheet number four. Now this for me is a little bit more of a weekly kit. I love these right here. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do and you can actually, instead of using a sticker to cover up, you can make a little box with these. I'll pull in a picture for you and um, kind of define the space that way. And I love the way that looks. I think these little corner like stickers are just so amazing. This page is really fun because it's all about function, but it's fun functional. And um, I really like this. I usually end up using this long strip on my reflection page because I have the horizontal like goals priority planner. And so I'll add this strip there just to make it feel more cohesive. So I'm having stickers on every single page, but I don't always use all of these stickers. However, these stickers are very, very useful and very functional if you wanted to use them in your daily spread or your weekly spread. The last sheet is what I would consider to be very holiday focused for the month. And I love this one. It's got all of your icons from groceries to trash can, like trash recycle day, bills, you've got your holidays, and then they always include fun graphic stickers. So um, for this month, we have lights, we've got some baked goods, a car with a tree on it. I mean, just really, really cute stuff. And they have birthday stickers on here as well. Cleaning stickers are always included, presents. And then a few like holiday call outs, New Year's Eve, we've got Hanukkah, December 25th, which is Christmas. And these right here are super, super fun. So these are the holiday stickers. And when I did my planner this year, I had the holidays printed in there. I ended up not doing that for next year because I designed my own holiday stickers that I wanted to use. And I thought it would be kind of hard to cover up the print with those. But these, if you do have printed holiday dates in your planner. These cover those up so nicely and I do like that they bend a little bit. I think it looks cool just not to have like all of your stickers straight across um, and these look really really nice in your monthly spread. So that's kind of a rundown of the five sticker sheets. Overall just my final opinion is the sticker subscription kit is so worth the money because of the quality of the stickers and the designs. They really put a lot of effort into the designs of these and I feel like they really do look different every month. They're really trying to think about the holidays and it be very inclusive, which I appreciate. So if I weren't running my own business and wanting to design my own stickers, I think I would probably do it again as long as the designs change. I would hope that they would change, but I loved this sticker kit a lot. I would highly recommend if you're very busy and you're just like, I want my planner to be cute, but I don't necessarily have time to go browse and shop for seasonal stuff. This is a great option and I would highly, highly recommend. Like I just have no other words for it. I don't know. It's great. <laughs> Let me think if there's any negatives. I would say the only things that I thought were frustrating that could be a potentially negative if I'm trying to be a little bit more unbiased is the ability to only use a few different types of um, uh, writing utensils on these stickers is hard. I totally learned that the hard way. I wrote in uh, like pen on it and it just completely smeared. So you do kind of need to test your pens out on a few stickers that maybe you don't want to use. Um, and get an idea of what pins are going to work for you. Like I said, the Sharpie felt tip pin does do a really good job and I would highly recommend, but just be careful when you, if you do decide to purchase this or you have this and you feel my pain and struggle, you know. If there's any questions or anything that you feel like I missed, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer everything. I definitely had a fun year with these stickers. It was so fun. It was exciting to get them in the mail and I would highly recommend. There are no coupon codes or anything that work with the subscription sticker kits if you do decide to do the annual or just pay month to month and try it out, but it's definitely worth the cost. Did some quick math. So you get 60 sticker sheets in total because it's five times 12. 
<laughs> I'm like, let me do my math. Yeah. And um, if you divide that by the 90, if you did the annual, it would be $1.50 per sticker sheet, which is crazy, crazy good pricing. So all in all, it's worth it. It's convenient. Now I'm not doing it for next year. And the reason is I run my own Etsy shop and I, although I loved some of these stickers, I wanted to not have so much wasted. I felt like I didn't always use all the stickers. And so it was definitely like I have, a, like I said, a big stack of them that I can kind of pull from as I need, as I need to. But because I have my own Etsy shop, I want to create and figure out how to create my own um, dashboard kits and, set, and stuff like that. I'm working on my monthly kit right now. It should be up by the time this is posted for January. So I don't know. I just wanted to try something new this year and kind of create something that I had my hands on. But I do highly recommend this. And I know that if this um, works for you, you would love it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If I miss anything, let me know. And I will see you tomorrow. Happy Planmas. Mm -hmm.